everyone, real quick, I want to thank you for sponsoring today's video being Ridge Wallet. Yes, that's right, guys. Over 30 different colors and designs, over 30,000 positive five-star reviews, a lifetime guarantee and or warranty, and also a money-back 45-day trial. With its sleek industrial look, it expands to hold 12 cards, also cash. I got a money clip on it right now. Look at those pesos. I'm down here in Mexico, guys. So right now, you can save 10% and get free worldwide shipping assets, right? So check out that link on screen, the ridge.com forward slash Joel. Use that code Joel. So go visit ridge.com right now. Use that code. Check that link down below. That was good for the rest of the video. Hey everyone, Joel Lance here. Today we're outside Busta's Burgers and More, just outside of Houston, Texas, to do their big burger challenge. So for this challenge, the Busta's Challenge, Busta's Burger Challenge, very suiting name. Uh, we have four pounds of beef, massive bun, loads of toppings, a whole bunch of french fries. We have 40 minutes to complete it. If we complete it, we get the meal for free. And if we don't, we gotta pay 40 bucks for it. So fingers crossed, wish us luck. Uh, should be good. I like burgers, so that's about it. Here at Miss Reina. Um, it's also like a comic shop. It's really cool. I'll show you around in there. They also like Harry Potter by the looks of it. So, uh, yeah. So let's go see and wish us luck. And Harry Potter. Here we have the Hogwarts Express. Nine and three quarters. Happens to potentially be a bathroom or a passage to Hogwarts. We'll find out. All right, everyone. So here we are with the challenges. So big burger. Lots of fries. Um, Reina's top bun had a bit of a mishap, so we got a, four, a few little buns for it. Uh, but yeah, it absolutely looks great. Sure, it'll be fine. They put a Montreal steak spice on the burgers, which I very much enjoy. In fact, it is my favorite seasoning. So, at that, uh, we got 45 minutes. Um, we're gonna get started. Okay. You're gone, Reina, don't worry. So, yeah, uh, ready to get going, Reina? Yeah, they got a the timer ready? Got a timer? Okay, cool. All right, so we'll count. Start, and let's hit the count of five, four, three, two, one. Cheers. Good luck. <laughs> I got all of Raina's pickles. Yep. So, Mr. Randy Santel was here a little while ago. How are you doing this one? 12 minutes? Yeah. Randy did about 12 minutes. So. You have bacon in yours? Mm -hmm. Awesome. I don't really have bacon. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's delicious. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're at Busta's Burgers, which is a little bit east, east, northeast of Houston, but east. Um, here to do their Busta's Burger Challenge. So this is a very unique shop. It's like a comic superhero themed shop and then definitely a strong Harry Potter themed as well. So they have the full place decorated in kind of, I'll call it like comic um, and or again superhero um, logos, pictures. Uh, materials then they also have a Harry Potter section on the TV they were playing the Harry Potter movie the bathroom is all decked out to be Harry Potter so I thought that was super 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 cool um, I've definitely seen some comic shop kind of restaurants before but I've never seen one that also had a Harry Potter influence um, and then all the food items on the menu as well were like named after a superhero inspired by a superhero um, you know such as like they'd have a I don't know a Hulk burger and then they'd have a Superman burger etc etc so the challenge itself, 40 minutes to do this challenge. Um, it's supposed to be four pounds of beef, then plus the buns. The buns are like a Hawaiian roll. Uh, I think that's the way to put it. Um, so it kind of like, is yeah, called a Hawaiian roll or Hawaiian bun, whatever. And then you have the big pile of fries, which is probably, I don't know, a pound and a half, two pounds, maybe, you know, it's a big pile. No shortage of bun. Lots of bun, lots of fries. Get a bit of burger. Very delicious. So the one gentleman there uh, actually would like let's be honest he was trying to showboat by holding and carrying both burgers at once and reina's top bun fell on the floor so that's why she has only like half of the normal bun and then she had a couple smaller burger bun bits on top 
Um, so, you know, it was close enough though. I mean, it probably was the same, et cetera, et cetera. It didn't really make any difference to us. Um, but yeah, normally the challenge looks like mine with the full Hawaiian roll, not a Hawaiian roll, then a couple little buns on top. Um, Randy Santel was at this place and I believe it was the only one to beat it. Um, if I recall correctly, um, but I will say I do think that this challenge, I'm always one for keeping it real and there's many, many, many times, in fact, more often than not, I think a challenge comes out bigger than it's supposed to be. However, I think this one actually might have come out a little smaller than it was supposed to be. I think we got a little less beef than like the four pounds. I think it was probably maybe like three pounds of beef. Um, but again, the buns and the fries and everything else was accurate, but I'm all one for keeping it real So I do think that this challenge came out a little bit like either it's advertised big or I don't know what happened exactly But I think it was a little smaller than it was supposed to be so coming on about four minutes in so it's going really well Very delicious. I got my beef done. Raina's well on her way as well And I think she has half a bun gone. So we're making moves they did use a uh, like steak spice, a Montreal steak spice in the beef, which is one of my favorite all-time seasonings. If you've never had a Montreal steak spice, I would definitely recommend it. It goes so well on beef, so well on pork, so good on chicken. It's a very heavy salt um, and pepper seasoning. So if you like a black pepper, if you like a salt, both both very much are accented and uh, broadcast it within that seasoning. Also, definitely you get some onion, um, little bits of garlic. It's just a very, it's a great seasoning. Seasoning. Like I love it on steaks. I love it on burgers. Like I said, I literally can eat that stuff on anything um, Any kind of meat any kind of pork chicken, etc. It's very 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 good uh, So I definitely recommend trying a Montreal steak spice if you never have tried one and it's not just available in Canada It's not just available in Montreal. It is international hence they're using it here in Houston um, but I really really liked it and if my explanation was not adequate it's pretty I'll be honest like if you go to a place that is a mixed steak spice it's pretty much that the exact same they just I don't know they call it a Montreal steak spice it's basically just a steak spice though um, but it's very very good I love that spice so it was great flavoring on the burger patties himself um, meat was cooked quite well um, and then the, I mean the buns were buns I don't really know you know it's it's a big it's a loaf of bread basically right like a big Hawaiian roll a big Swiss I don't know it's a it's a loaf of bread right um, so pretty standard in that regard but I'm pretty sure that's about it like just again like it's pretty straightforward burger challenge again roughly six ish pound I would say it could be slightly slightly more if you get four pounds of beef I don't again I don't think either we got four pounds of beef or it just seemed smaller to me this on this day so I think it was, you know, let's say six pounds though. So it sold six pound burger challenge, guys. Really cool shop. The staff were very kind, very courteous. And I really, like I said, it's a very unique spot, although it's very, very small. But if you want a superhero inspired restaurant, this is the place to go. So that, I'll let you enjoy the rest of the video. How you doing, Ryan? Mm -hmm. Ready to well? Fries are really Like the fries? Looks like they have really nice seasoning on them. My burger's gone, just down the fries. Maybe like seven and a half minutes in, something like that. Seven, maybe seven minutes.
maybe nine and a half, ten minutes in. I'm trying to go by the timer on my camera. It's only hard, a little hard to see, but doing really well. Just finished up these fries. Randy's pretty much done the burger as well, just down the fries, so. All right. All right, so I'm done. Admittedly, there is an onion on the table, but I don't really want to eat off the table. So, finished? Cool, you got the okay? So yeah, very delicious. Really enjoyed that burger. The fries were nice to see as well. Ranch is finished up. Keep the good work, Rana. Get it done. What number is this? For me? And what country number is this? Oh, Get out of here, Arena. <laughs> Arena's just making fun of somebody now. Maybe about uh, 14 minutes in for Raina. So congratulations, Raina, did a good job. Enjoyed it? Thank you. You've been so burpy. What's wrong with you? No, I'm just kidding. I burp all the time. So everybody, huge thanks to everybody here at Busta's. It was definitely a really nice challenge out here in Crosby, Texas, just outside Houston. So yeah, come on by, try the challenge. It was really tasty. Again, they got a really cool looking spot Wait, here. Wait, nerd moment, they have a burger called Flashpoint. Only Flash fans would know what I'm talking about. Okay. Joel didn't get it, but I was nerdy. I'm like, I have a Flashpoint burger. That's okay. so cool. But I will nerd out and say that the restroom is like Harry Potter. It's, what is it, nine Hogwarts, nine and three quarter express stations. That's pretty cool. 
So yeah. A little something for everybody. A little something for everybody. That, we get the burgers for free. It's pretty dang cool. <clears throat> so uh, yeah, until next time everybody. Of course, stay happy, healthy, hungry. Happy eating. Thank God for Texas. And until uh, next time. Bye-bye. Have a lovely day. What's up? We're at the Galleria in Houston, Texas. So, uh, yeah, big mall here checking out. It's pretty close to downtown. So, yeah, I've had to come check it out. It was one of those things people said to see, and here we are. It is very large. Cool. Got a skating rink down there, multiple levels of stores. It's just some uh, pretty bougie stores. They have Bottega, they have a Todd's, there's a Prada down there. They have uh, Carolina Herrera. This really nice uh, kind of overview. Yeah, it's a big, big place.